my first look at the Marlboro. It is one of the two reward prizes of the Double Impact Campaign. It's either the Marco Polo or the Marlboro. So this time we're going to check out the Marlboro. The ship does have 16 main guns which do reload pretty darn quick. But they are only 14 inch guns. So how does the ship stack up? Let's check out the setup of the ship and the commander who is Andrew Cunningham. Base trait is Concentrated Devastation, which improves the battleship's main battery shell grouping. Then I have Paulo de Ravel, Time is of the Essence, which improves the main battery reload time. And then we have Robert Jujard, Borer, which improves the battleship's armor-piercing shell penetration. And then we have a total accuracy build set up here for the skills. Flamble Cannoneer, which improves the battleship's main battery range. And it's a shell grouping, but it is at the risk of catching fire. Then we have gyrating drill bits, which improves the battleship's gun traverse speed and its armor piercing shell damage, but it is at the cost of a maximum speed. And then we have marksmanship, which improves the dispersion of the main battery, but it is at the cost of a rudder shift time. Last skill is reaching out XXL, which improves the main battery range. And then we have the standard will to rebuild as a legendary skill, which uh, improves the amount of HP recovered. It is 47% right there. When you go up to legendary rank four, that goes all the way up to 110%. And it is quite dramatic, uh, the effect that legendary rank four has on will to rebuild here. The special effect for will to rebuild is it will auto repair when the HP is equal to or less than 20%. And the range to an allied ship to make that happen is two kilometers at legendary rank two. When you rank up to legendary rank four, that goes all the way up to 3.5 kilometers. And then we have the upgrades for the Marlboro. The first one is aiming systems mod one, improves the dispersion of the main battery by 7% and the secondary battery firing range and its dispersion is improved by 5% respectively. Second upgrade here is propulsion mod two, which improves the time taken to reach full power when accelerating. It cuts that in half. And then the third upgrade is a standard concealment system mod one. And I say standard because any battleship tier six or above should have this in slot number three. Detection range is improved by 10% and the incoming fire dispersion is improved by 5%. And this does double up on the incoming fire dispersion from a fully upgraded camo. And then the last upgrade is main battery mod three, which improves the main battery reload time, but you do take a hit on the main battery traverse speed. So you want to watch out for that. And the loud outs, you have your normal high explosive shells and armor piercing shells, which we will get into in a minute. Damage control party consumable duration is 15 seconds, reloads every 80 seconds. And there is an unlimited number of those consumables. Then we have the repair party consumable, which will partially restore the ship's HP by repairing any light damage at the rate of 1,806 hit points per second. Once you start going up in legendary rank, that will increase dramatically. So legendary rank four could be, well, it would be well over 2,000 hit points per second at legendary rank four. So you want to look out for that if you upgrade your commander here. Duration of the consumable is 14 seconds, reloads every 120 seconds, and there are two of those consumables. Then we have the enhanced secondary targeting consumable, which improves the secondary battery shell grouping by 100%, improves the dispersion by 50%, duration is 30 seconds, and it reloads every 160 seconds, and there are three of those consumables. Here I don't have any boosters selected, but for the highlight you're going to see, I did have the Epic Battle Booster going. I think I had more boosters going during that highlight, but we don't have any selected here. The ship does come with a Type 9 Premium Permanent Camouflage. Sea Detectability and Incoming Fire Dispersion is 4.5% respectively. And then the stats. Survivability Hit Points is 76,800. Armor is 19 to 381 millimeter. Torpedo damage reduction is 28%. Artillery is rated at 94. Holy cow, look at that. You have 16 main guns, but they are 14 inch main guns, 356 millimeter. They reach out to 18.5 kilometers. 
they reload every 20.9 seconds so you do get a really quick reload here traverse time is a little slow at 33 seconds he shells have a maximum damage of 5300 with a 24 percent chance of setting fire our piercing shells have a maximum damage of 12,100 and secondary armament there's not really much to uh not much going on there so okay aa defenses you will clear the sky with the marlboro it looks like this looks like pretty stout aa defenses maneuverability maximum speed is 28.4 knots turning circle radius is 860 meters rudder shift time is 15.7 seconds concealment detectability range by sea is 13.3 kilometers range by air is 11.1 .1 kilometers and if you're firing in a smoke it is 13 and a half kilometers all right and then the armor view you do have a lot of yellow armor here but in a battle i seem to be overmatched from just about every angle from a uh, yamato or a musashi so let's check out the armor and see what's going on here and it looks like you do have pretty good armor here and let's see what that is on the citadel 29 to 33 so 406 millimeter and lower caliber shells will ricochet bow on so if you go up against a 18 inch gun that will overmatch the citadel armor here is what this looks like so that could explain a lot of that and then over on the side here can cause any armor piercing shell to ricochet at appropriate angles and that is a trick is finding that appropriate angle resists he shells of up to 203 millimeters and then 161 to 399 so up on top of the citadel it looks like you are pretty well set but i have seen a lot of marlboros get taken out by a single shot from a montana or uh, m citadeled multiple times by my Marco Polo. So uh, either way, you do not want to go broadside with the Marlboro. And if you're up against a Musashi or a Yamato, you want to be wary about going nose on. Actually, you you want to get out of the uh, line of fire, actually. So, all right, the overview reloader above average main battery reload speed. And that is right. 20 seconds is really quick high number of guns allow for a lot of damage from a single salvo and those 16 guns certainly will do that superior he penetration above average he shell penetration well i guess i'm going to have to use the he shells a little bit more so then the marlboro is a variant of a battleship that retained the design features implemented in the vanguard and king george v class ships the ship's main armament comprises of 16 356 millimeter guns mounted in quadruple turrets year of design was 1947 and it doesn't look like there were any ships in the series all right well that's it for the setup of the ship and the commander let's go out in a standard battle and see if we can show you what the marlboro is all about all right well here we go we are in greece and that is an Azuma right there and a Belfast 43. So the first thing I should probably mention is with the 16 main guns here, I really expected some big time damage from, uh, from the get-go. And I was not really getting the performance that I sort of expected out of a battleship. Then I started wondering whether it had something to do with the 14-inch guns, even though... The Brandenburg has a small caliber 14, 15 inch guns, and that ship sort of has no problem out in a standard match. It really does hold its own against battleships pretty well. You can see the accuracy wasn't all that great right there. But, you know, it is what it is. You just kind of um, have to learn how to use a ship, I guess. And with this ship, you really will get a good amount of damage against the red team the especially cruisers and um, and battleships as well the one thing that you want to watch out for is you want to stay out of the open water there's a musashi right there and that guy will be a problem later on in the match he basically overmatches us um well through the bow basically so uh yeah that is the achilles heel of the Marlboro as far as I'm concerned if you're in a match with those big time 
caliber guns, you definitely want to stay out of the open water because they will pretty much take you out, whether you're broadside or bow on. That's my uh, long and a short review of the Marlboro right there. But let's get on to the gameplay here in this match. I did take a couple hits there on that Tirpitz, but we are kind of sizing up the Azuma right here. And he is going broadside. That is awesome. I'm not really sure if he doesn't see us or what, but we are going to take some uh, pretty good shots and get some massive Citadel hits against that guy. These guns reload in 20 seconds, and that is an awesome part of the Marlboro. You can get a lot of rounds on target. And there are two Citadel hits in rapid succession. We are up to 48,000 damage already on 16 main gun hits. We're going to take some more shots at him and hopefully finish him up because he is still going broadside, as unbelievable as that is. And, yeah, we're going to hope that these shells hit their mark and take care of that job. He's about a, a third of the, his health was left. We hit him with two citadels and actually took him out. So that is a big-time score right there. 67,000 damage up to this point about five minutes in and I'm thinking this is a great match we are ahead so this is going to be definitely my highlight reel because I'm expecting that we are going to win this match and the Tirpitz is kind of angling out a little bit he's starting to come back in and give us his broadside it looks like he is aiming at uh, these cruisers over here to my left. So we're just going to ding this guy up and continue to hit him with the armor-piercing shells. We're up to 88,000 damage on 32 main gun hits. So you can definitely get some uh, shells on target with the 20-second reload time there. So we're up to 92,000 damage. And there's a mines over here. And that's, uh, ooh, a Brandenburg, the ship I was talking about. So this guy will definitely take me out if I expose my broadside to him. So I'm really, really wary about that. But I have these other ships over here in front of me. So I've got essentially four ships, it looks like, right there to my front or to my right. So I'm just going to uh, try to do the best I can with the Brandenburg is 18 kilometers away. I might be just out of his range. He's not aiming his main guns at me anyway. Uh, looks like they're starting to turn around in my direction though, so we're gonna take care of business. We better do it pretty quick here. And we fire another round at him, and looks like he's gonna get taken out right there, and he does. On two more main gun hits, we're up to 102,000 damage. So we got ships behind, we got ships in front, and here comes some shots from probably a cruiser that I can't see. So I've got to start moving up toward the island right there to minimize my exposure to those ships in front of me in the open water. But I'm really keeping an eye on the turpits. I don't really want to get taken out from behind. There is that Musashi, eight kilometers away. There's an Iowa way back there, Baltimore. Uh, I guess it was Baltimore that was uh, hitting us where we couldn't see him. Here is this Musashi. Un unfortunately, I shot the Baltimore. Look at that. He took 26,000 damage off of my ship from the bow. So that is a weaker armor that we saw down below on the bow of the ship in the Citadel, no doubt, is what did that. And yeah, so you are not safe bow on or broadside from a Musashi. And yeah, that guy is going to wreck our day, it looks like. So we're going to close up on the island and try to minimize any kind of... Uh, damage that he's going to have on us but he does hit us for another 48,000 damage right there and we are almost down to nothing so two hits from that musashi and we are essentially done right here and that is basically my um 
first look review of the Marlboro. As you can see, you can cause massive damage against the opposing ships, but if you get in the wrong situation against the big time battleship with big caliber, he will take you out, and that's my caution for the ship. So if you get the Marlboro, be careful about going out in the open water and play it safe. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.